Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam question number 50 in Electricity Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, you'll find this question on page 332. Suppose that a certain load, that's this, constitutes a pure resistance of 600 ohms. We have an AC source, an alternating current source connected to this load, like a generator, for example, or the utility power source, or some other AC source. In any case, we measure the current through this load as 150 milliamps RMS. Root mean square, which is in effect the DC equivalent current. How much power does this load dissipate? Well, because we're given the RMS value, 150 milliamps, we can use the rules for direct current circuits to calculate this. Because this load is a pure resistance, there's no reactance or anything like that in it. It just dissipates or radiates whatever power it gets. Remember the formula for DC power. Power in watts equals the current in amperes squared times the resistance in ohms. Well, our current, 150 milliamps is 0 0.150 amps and when we square that we get 0 0.0225 we don't get any particular unit there we could call it amperes squared or something but we don't need to worry about the units right now that is the square of the current in amperes. Okay, the resistance is 600 ohms. So this power is going to equal 0 0.0225 times 600, and that's the power in watts. When we go to three significant figures, 13.5 watts is the power that that resistor is going to dissipate and that is choice A